Okay, so in this video we're looking at the back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. Uh, sometimes it's handy to be able to compare two different data sets. You can see in this particular question we've got uh, class A and class B. So two classes, um, maybe uh, with two different teachers or something, and we want to see how they're, how they're doing. Okay, so the way to create a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, this time you create two thin lines to begin with. Uh, now we can see our lowest score in either of the two data sets is in the teens. So 1, uh, so that's like 11, 12, that's 20s, 30s, and looks like there's a score in the 40s. Yep. Okay, and this time we're going to go in both directions. Uh, so this is going to be class A. And this is going to be class B. Okay, so all we need to do is look at class A, look for any teens. You can see there's one there. It's the only one, 15. Now, class B, I can look for teens as well. Okay, you can see there's no teens in class B. So nothing's going to go in this side. Let's look at our 20s for class A. 29, I'll just get rid of that 15, 29, 21, 24, that looks like all the 20s for that one, so that's 21, 24, and 29, now notice I'm going in order from smallest to largest, but I'm moving in the other direction, I'm moving from right to left. Now class B, let's look at class B, 28, 25, 24, 26, 29. Okay, so you've got to go in order here. 24 is the smallest, 25, 26, 28, and 29. Okay, now try to keep your distances the same when you're going from class B and also when you're going from class A. Okay, so I'll get rid of all them. Might just fill in the 30s. I'll just do that while I'm off camera. Okay, so you can see I've just filled in the 30s there for both class A and class B. Uh, and we can just finish off here now with our 40s. Class A, uh, 43, 44... 48 and class B uh, 42, 45, 46 and 47. Okay, now what this allows us to do is easily compare class A to class B. Uh, you can see class A had lots of uh, scores in the 30s, it had 5, whereas class B only had 3 scores in the 30s. You can also see that class B had 4 scores in the 40s, whereas class A only had 3. And class A only had, sorry, had uh, a score in the teens, but class B didn't. So a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot is really good for comparing data sets. That's what we've done with... Uh, a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. Okay, that's pretty much it for that one. Uh, it's really come down to you and uh, practicing that and then interpreting those uh, data sets as well.